Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to set up a restore point on your Windows computer, which is basically like having a checkpoint in case anything goes wrong, you have a point that you can revert the system back to. And so this is really easy to do. All you'll need to do to get started is just come down to the start menu and type in restore point. And the top option will say create a restore point. Just go ahead and click on it to open it up and you'll get this little window. And the first thing you'll need to do is click on configure and make sure that it is turned on up here at the top. And then as far as the max usage, this will vary from system to system, but on average, I would recommend doing five gigs or less. If you need to go smaller, you absolutely can, but going larger will allow you to have more restore points. Then just go ahead and click apply and then okay. And then we can go ahead and click on create. Now here it's going to ask you to name your restore point. And so on this computer, I'm going to be going through and cleaning it out. So I'm just going to call my cleaning. Again, you can call yours whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on create. And then once you get this window, you know that the restore point has successfully created itself. Now, if you get to a point where you need to use that restore point, just come back to this same window, but click on this option right here that says System Restore. And then you'll click on Next. And then we can see right there the description or the name that we gave our restore point as well as the date. It also shows that we manually created it. We can click on Scan for Effective Program so it will tell us what will happen when we use this restore point and what will be changed. And it will give a list right here. Now, we haven't actually done anything, so that's why it's not showing anything detected. but on yours, if you've made some changes, it will list the changes right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on Close. And then again, we've selected this one. We just want to click on Next and then Finish. And that will go ahead and revert us back to the restore point that we just created. After the computer has restarted, you will get a message like this letting you know that it has completed. And so that's everything as far as doing the system restore. It's really easy to create, really easy to use, and it's a great safety feature, especially if you're going to be doing computer repair or making major changes. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments, questions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great and wonderful day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.